welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss different types of three address statements generally these three address statements looks like assembly language the main purpose of this three address statement is implementation of intermediate code we have different types of statements that are available so among them the first one is assignment statements it is represented as in the language that is in the intermediate code it is represented as x is equal to y op some z here you know that one op is any binary operation op is any binary operation that is performed between y and z and the result is assigned to the variable x this is one type of assignment statement we have that assignment statement in another form also suppose x is equal to op y so in this case the op is unary operation here the op is unary operation for example unary minus logical negation shift operators conversion operations all those are unary operators in this the operation is performed on the y and again the result is assigned to variable x this is one type of assignment statement now the third one is copy statement copy statement if it it is of the form x is equal to y what is the meaning here the value of y is assigned to x the value of y is assigned to x this is called copy statement i think you know the meanings what is the meanings of this one here actually this is called language construct that is these are the terms that are used in the language if it is the language construct how we are represented in intermediate code form this is intermediate code form in terms of three address statement intermediate code form in terms of three address statements suppose the next statement is unconditional jump statement unconditional jump statement suppose if you are writing the statement go to l simply simply the control goes to the statement labeled by l wherever the state any statement that is labeled by l the control automatically goes to that particular statement without checking any condition the next two one is conditional jump the next two one is conditional jump suppose if you are writing a statement if x r e l o p y go to l here meaning is r e l o p is the relational operator for example x less than y x less than or equal to y greater than y greater than or equal to y that means it checks the condition if the checks the condition if the condition is true then only it goes to the statement with label l then only it goes to the statement with label l that is the conditional jump so next type is some procedure calls next one is some procedure calls for example you have different parameters parameter x1 parameter x2 and so on parameter xn and then call p comma n this is a procedure call and also you can write the statement return y that means in this x1 x2 and so on xn are called parameters these are the parameters used in the procedure p these are the parameters used in the procedure p so n represents the number of parameters here the return statement this one indicates the return value 
written y in the sense we are returning a value 1. That means here we are simply this is represented in this form. P of x1, comma x2, comma x and you got it. For the procedure, these are the parameters. Now, the next statement is, the next one is, array statements. Next one is, array statements. If you are writing in the form x is equal to y of i, this is one type of statement. x of i is equal to y, this is another type of statement. Here, what is the matter? Simply, the value of ith index, the value of ith index of array y is assigned to x that is the array name is y in the array y whatever the value present at ith index that value is assigned to x if you want to write that particular statement use this three address notation this one is the value y y is a normal variable the value y that is simple identifier is placed at ith position in the array x, ith index in the array x. So, this is array statement and the last one is address and pointer assignments, address and pointer assignments. Suppose x colon is equal to y, that means what is the meaning of this one? The address of y is assigned to x. The address of y is assigned to x. Suppose x colon is equal to y. So, x colon y. Simply, the y is referred by x also. So, the value of x is, what is the meaning? The value of x is referred whatever that is present in y. Here, ampersand in the sense address. So, star x is equal to y. Here, what is the meaning of this one? Star x is the value. At value, the y is, that is, the r value of object that is pointed by x is set with the l value of y. That is whatever the value present in y that is stored in the value x. Assume if x is a pointer. If x is a pointer, star x is the value at that address. Star x is the value at that address. At that particular address, we are copying the value. These are the different language constructs. These are the different intermediate forms. Intermediate representations in three address format. Thank you.